Hi, welcome to my next video in my series on alcoholism and nutrition. Today I'm going to be discussing GABA, that guy right there. And um, the first time I took GABA uh, was probably about five or six years ago. I was still drinking at the time and um, I'd been drinking for three or four days at this particular moment and uh, my skin was really crawling, particularly bad. Um, I'd been drinking a lot of hard liquor, which I don't normally do, and uh, and it, it just felt like there were bugs on my skin. And uh, I went to uh, the health food store and got some some GABA, and I never tried before. I came home and took a capsule and uh, opened it up and put it under my tongue, and it, it, it the only way I can describe it is like jumping into a cold lake. It just took my breath away. It, it like I had trouble breathing. Like, like it's almost like it, it knocked the wind out of me for like 15 or 20 seconds. And at the same time, um, these like electrical impulses, I felt just tra traveling down my arms and legs. And that lasted, you know, concurrently with the breathing for probably about 15 to 20 seconds. And then this intense sense of relaxation and peace you know came washing over me and then I just drifted off to sleep and, and it was incredible um, but that was my first experience with with GABA what is GABA uh, it's an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain um, I like to think of it like your brain's valium factory it keeps you calm and relaxed and helps you sleep uh, it's also, I like to think of it like one side of a two-part equation. You got glutamate on one side and GABA on the other. And they both have the role and they both need to maintain balance. Otherwise, you'll have disharmony um, in the body. There are a number of factors that can throw off the balance of, of GABA and glutamate in the body. Uh, one is genetics. Um, you can just be predisposed to having a deficiency there. Another is improper or inadequate diet. You're not getting the constituent parts to make uh, your, your neurotransmitters like GABA um, from, from your diet. Also, you can be getting the right nutrients to make GABA but you can have an imbalance because you're eating foods that contain glutamate and glutamate is added to a lot of foods unwisely and that if you don't know what you're what you're eating you can be experiencing anxiety and nervousness and you know insomnia um, and not even know why because it's throwing off the balance of glutamate and GABA in the body Another factor that can cause a deficiency in GABA is alcohol abuse or drug abuse. Um, I, as I said in a previous video, um, there's a condition in the body known as homeostasis. And what that is, is that your body knows what normal is and it wants to get back there. It knows biologically the, the processes uh, of what's normal and that's true of neurotransmitters. Alcohol is what they call GABAergic. And what that is, is it enhances the feeling or the function of GABA in the brain. And that's why you get relaxed uh, when you drink when you drink alcohol. The problem is, like I mentioned before in my other video, uh, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. Whenever you naturally suppress a biological function or uh, elevate an, an, uh, a biological function. There's going to be a rebound and the longer you suppress or elevate the harder the rebound. And the problem with uh, alcoholism or alcoholics in general and the sad part is that we used to drink, we started drinking because it was pleasurable most likely. Um, but after a while you're just drinking to feel normal. Uh, or what you remember normal to be, or at least not even normal to not experience the negative consequences of alcohol withdrawal. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. And if you have any requests for videos, please just let me know. I'm always open to requests and I hope you have a wonderful day and a very happy new year.